First, we're going to talk about uh, Copa America Centenario. Um, it's good to be back uh, and uh, review some of the videos uh, of the games. Um, unfortunately, I've missed uh, Champions League final, uh, which was a great game between Atletico and uh, Real Madrid. Uh, but as uh, I'm, I've said, it, I, I will do a quick review on the first uh, stage or group stage of uh, Copa America Centenario. And it's, uh, it's a great tournament in terms of uh, South American teams. And now it's uh, joined with uh, the Central America for uh, celebrating 100 years of the Copa America. Um, it's, it's been playing in the U.S. as at U.S. soil and then uh, the Group A has the host U.S. Colombia um, who are uh, through for the quarterfinals. Uh, I thought uh, it was pretty well um, competed group. Um, there were um, Costa Rica as well, uh, very good team, uh, but unfortunately they didn't qualify. U.S. Uh, looked very impressive, especially after um, this, you know, initial loss versus uh, Colombia, whereas Colombia lost Costa Rica and uh, lost their spot on the top of the group. So US uh, will be playing um, the Group B runners-up uh, as a Group A champion and uh, Colombia will be playing uh, the Group B champion uh, as a Group A runners-up. Colombia looked very good team. Uh, they could go very far. Um, their uh, whole team looks uh, in, in very good mood. Uh, Carlos Baca uh, to James Rodriguez uh, to David Ospina uh, all are looking very good. Uh, in terms of US, I, I guess um, it's all depend on the experienced uh, experience of uh, Bradley and uh, their. You know, I, I don't follow too much of uh, MLS, uh, MLS and uh, there are a few um, young players um, and uh, and mix of Bradley's and, uh, you know, Guzan and others. Um, so U.S. hopefully can um, go through uh, and uh, the whole crowd would be backing them. In Group B, um, Brazil is uh, out already which is a big shock. Um, I, I thought they have played, uh, you know, not up to their potential and, and the use of the players by the coach Dunga, who has been sacked, um, was really questionable. Um, he didn't start Lucas Lima in the first game uh, and uh, there were other players such as Lucas Mora was in the bench. Um, he started... Um, He's pretty much defensive uh, kind of coach, um, and this team doesn't look as if they can score except uh, some firing shots of Coutinho. Um, there was no Firmino. Um, I, I don't know why uh, there was no Oscar as well. Ricardo Kaka uh, was, uh, you know, taken out. Um, and and this team doesn't look uh, as as an unit. Um, they're pretty good defenders as in terms of uh, Marquinhos, uh, who never uh, probably played in or or probably play, played as a um, second game against Haiti. But he he should have been in the squad. Um, and uh, was unfortunate uh, the way they have uh, considered the goal versus Peru. Um, but um, their one goal was uh, disallowed um, for Equator when Equator was playing Brazil. So uh, it looks even out. But uh, Peru went through uh, as a group champion, which was a surprise. But uh, Peru has been quite um, sensational in terms of uh, their Copa America run. Last year, they were in, uh, in the same final as well. So Peru is a good team uh, to go ahead. And... Uh, for second team Equator, I thought Equator is uh, sitting on the top of the Conomable um, World Cup qualifier, and they're a pretty good team in terms of uh, you know of in the flanks of right or left. They're pretty quick, and they have very good uh, uh, you know attacking player as is Inno Valencia on the center. 
and they looked uh, pretty solid as well and you could will be playing us it will be a very um very good game to watch and hopefully i can uh, review that as well and uh peru will be playing colombia which will be very interesting uh but colombia i guess won't mind peru uh in place of brazil uh but brazil didn't look uh as um what uh, you know you can expect from brazilian team they look pretty out of sort and they didn't know what to do except um uh, what to do except uh, you know neymar um and um in group c uh, uh, there was a uh, um another shocker in terms of uruguay uh i thought was a very good team uh was knocked out um by uh, mexico and uh, mexico is a group champion and venezuela who looked pretty impressive uh in the whole tournament um and uh, uruguay would be very disappointed i thought they are in pretty good shape uh except uh, luis suarez was injured and he was uh you can see the uh, you know frustration on the bench he couldn't he couldn't play any minute um before it mattered uh, i i didn't see the third game of uruguay but uh, they were out after the second game uh, to consecutive loss against mexico and venezuela uh, mexico looked a very very good team um the combination of um, uh, hector herrera uh, cuadrado uh, Chicharito um, and uh, you know Moreno and others um, uh, looks very good team uh, as an unit and very quick. Um, I can't remember the number ten. Uh, probably uh, his name is I can't remember his name, but uh, he's pretty quick, has a good footwork and uh, a dribbling skill, and he has good range of passing as well. Mexico looks looks like a team it can go far uh, probably I bet uh, of you know um, go Mexico going into semi or even in final they will face um, the runners up of Group D which is Chile it will be very imp interesting uh, in terms of uh, game Chile versus Mexico looks very uh, uh, hot and uh, in a fantastic game. Um, in terms of Chile, Chile lost to Argentina um, in Group T, uh, but still they have, uh, you know, very good team to get back into the remaining two games. And uh, in a Chile versus Argentina, I think one of the finest games we've seen in the um, entire Copa America, Centenario. Um, Alexis Sanchez looks in very good form Vidal looked in uh, good shape um, the whole team looked in good shape except I was I was thinking that the only thing they're missing is Valdivia uh, Valdivia uh, was not in the team um, I, I like him personally he's a very good uh, playmaker and probably very underrated um, except that uh, Chile looks pretty solid and um, you know they they're one of the contender um, as Brazil and Uruguay is uh, not there um, the champion of group D is Argentina they looked um, uh, very you know formidable uh, um, without Messi they have won um, I mean without Messi they've won the first game against Chile um, Di Maria looked uh, impressive and and the whole team uh, they looked to be pressing in higher uh, on the opposition half and uh, taken you know charge uh, um, of the mistake of the opponent or try to uh, create some kind of pressure um, which is very impressive in terms of uh, if you have noticed uh, the coaching of uh, Gerard Tata Marquino uh, didn't look as good as um, it turns out in this tournament so far it looked as uh, as an unit the whole team um, the inclusion of uh, Ever Banega and his role is probably one of the key factor that Argentina looks so good. Banega is one of the players uh, who needs to be in form uh, if Argentina has to go far. And obviously, uh, addition of Lionel Messi, um, he can do wonders, and as he did against Panama. Uh, against Panama, there was one nil uh, until 70 minutes when Messi came in and he changed the game. Uh, Quickly and it turned into five nil win. 
uh, a comfortable win it looks but uh, within 70 before that uh, before Messi came in it looked pretty tight game and the last game was kind of an experimental game and I think they have uh, looked out uh, bigly as um, look as bigly as uh, you know fitness as well as Messi's fitness after second half and uh, Aguero um, and Higuain, I think, uh, are would be the biggest concern. They didn't score. Uh, I mean, Aguero scored once, and uh, Higuain didn't score yet. But um, in terms of the whole team, I guess there is some weakness in the back line, uh, especially if they're caught on possession. Um, Otamendi and uh, Funes Mori are the first choice. Um, it would be very uh, interesting to see um, Argentina in knockout stage because. They've been uh, waiting 23 years to win a major title, and this is probably one of the full chance for them as Brazil and uh, Uruguay is already out and uh, they've already beaten Chile. So they have uh, probably the mental edge over um, others. Um, in terms of contenders, I could, I can, I, can, I have already mentioned Mexico look pretty good. Um, Chile is still a very, very quality team and uh, Colombia looked very good. U.S. has an outside chance, but Argentina is probably the top uh, favorite right now. But it will be interesting to see, and uh, I'll try to cover all the matches uh, as the tournament goes through. Thank you.